Hey guys, uh, in this video, I am going to explain about implementing on the fly uh, image manipulation uh, like resizing the image, thumbnail generation, applying filter, etc. for the images so that is actually stored in the S3 bucket. Uh, first, actually, uh, let's uh, create a S3 bucket and uh, let's upload some uh, sample images to it so that actually I can uh, show a demo on how to manipulate. Uh, the images on the fly. Let me create a S3 bucket. Uh, my actually, by the way, uh, my channel's name is uh, Decoders. So uh, please do subscribe to the channel for uh, more useful videos. So for now, actually, I'm going to click on next, 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 so that I will actually I'm going to make all the images public. By the way, and I'm going to create a bucket with all the settings. So the bucket has been created now. So let's go inside the bucket and uh, upload few uh, sample images that I already have. So it's in downloads. So I'm choosing these four images and let me upload it to the S3 bucket. Yeah, it's been uploaded. Uh, now actually I'm going to use a solution provided by AWS uh, for this uh, on the fly image uh, resize so uh, for 1 million uh, images served with 15 GB storage would cost us anywhere between uh, 12 to 14 dollars which is actually pretty cheap for this we are going to use quite a few services from AWS like uh, API Gateway, uh, Lambda, CloudFront and Amazon S3 so I'm going to show how to uh, deploy the solution to our uh, own uh, VPC. So this is the deployment uh, method that uh, I'm going to follow. So first let me download the template for the cloud formation. So cloud formation is the service which actually controls uh, all other services. It will create all the other services behalf of you. So let me actually uh, create a cloud formation from a template uh, I'm going to choose the template that I just downloaded it's just a sample template so we can customize that in the next screen so that is the cloud formation stack name and I need to uh, input my uh, S3 buckets name here so that uh, this will tied up to that particular S3 bucket and I need to choose the region, region that I choose to create a bucket. So there will be a default UI provided uh, to see all this uh, manipulations but for now actually I am going to skip that top because I am going to directly show the demo for you guys. So let me uh, click on next. So you can choose an IAM role uh, that CloudFront uses to create. So by default it will actually create IAM role if you didn't specify one. So actually you don't need to change anything in the settings. You can uh, click on next to create uh, the cloud formation stack. Okay. So I just need to acknowledge this. Uh, I am uh, allowing uh, the cloud formation to create IAM resources. So cloud formation is on the way. Uh, so I am going to refresh this page so that I can see the progress. Yeah, uh, creating a cloud formation is in progress. So if you click on this, you will be able to see like what are the things that is happening in the behind the scenes. So it will create uh, each stack or each services it will launch each services on behalf of us we don't need to do anything so we just need to sit and wait for some time so that uh, the whole process completes so if you refresh this page after some time you can see that uh, uh, IAM policies has been created lambda functions has been created so actually it will create all other API gateways on the other stuff it will take at least some good 5 to 10 minutes to create all these things so until then actually you need to wait 
so you you can go to this events tab to track what is the current progress and what are the services that are already been deployed so meanwhile actually i'm going to show what are the filters that i can possibly apply to this uh, images so i can change the background color i can blur the image so i can uh, change the contrast of the image and then i can add a gray scale apply gray scale for that i can change the quality of the image resize the image so i need to specify the size in the url to resize we can add a custom watermark to the images so coming back to this cloud formation so i'm going to refresh this page uh, this is still is in progress it will take a good 5 to 10 minutes as i mentioned before okay the stack is completed now that means the whole uh, uh, infrastructure for our uh, image manipulation has been deployed in our aws so now it's time to check uh, this thing if you go to output tab you can see the sample request so that is the base url that actually tied up to our s3 bucket so if you copy that and in the name of uh, you can just copy uh, image.jpg and replace it with the uh, final object name in the url that was given as a sample so let me just resize the image to 250 into uh, 150 sorry 350 so the image now you are seeing is of the width 250 into 350 so i am going to apply various uh, filters for that uh, now i'm going to copy this filters from the sample url given in the document so for the given image i'm just going to apply all those uh, filters so that is uh, i'm filling this with some color and i'm going to rotate the image 90 degree so when you click on enter it will automatically fetch the image and the lambda function will trigger it will first check in the cdn if this image is present or not cloud print if the image is not present it will go to the lambda will be triggered lambda will fetch the image then do this manipulation and giving back back to the cdn so that cloud front catches it whenever uh, you request for the same image next time it will actually serve from the cache so now I'm going to add a blur to it. So if you can see that uh, the image has been blurred now. So you can control the blur length also like blur depth. So I just put 7. So you can change it and uh, use it whatever you want. So we can change the quality of the image. So that uh, we can actually reduce the size of the image if we reduce the quality of the image. So you will not uh, see a major difference because I have already applied a blur filter for this. So let me change the image and see what happens. So let me choose the uh, image too. It will first take like, like little extra time to do all this manipulation. See the second image also comes in the same format with uh, colors filled in and uh, with blur and uh, quality 40. So this is the image with resize. So actually you can... Uh, create a thumbnail of any size you want on the go so this is another image so actually the original image is this so if you see the quality and the size of the image it is very big but by applying the filter i actually reduce the size of the image on the on the go so i'm going to apply the filter quality 40 You will not see any major difference in the quality, but the size of the image has been reduced. So this will help you in the sites where you have a lot of images to display in the user in the first page, uh, so that uh, the website loads faster for the user. So I'm going to rotate this image, or uh, like 180 degree. So I just need to add or rotate in the URL with uh, parameter as 180. So the image has been uh, rotated. So actually you can use this as a tool for your project so that uh, for actually change the images and modify it. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.